You guys, the day has finally come. Oh, someone's got the zoomies behind me. <laughs> After two years being in this beautiful apartment, we finally have bought our place, our first property in our dream neighborhood. And I am gonna take you guys there with me today. We can do a little tour. So we are in the middle of moving and I actually wanted to film a final like, whoa, <laughs> I, just clicked. I just zoomed in. How did I do that? How the fuck did I do that? Oh my God. I just zoomed in like it's the office. So I had actually wanted to do one final goodbye tour video of this apartment, of it furnished, because I never really did a furnished apartment tour here. I only did an unfurnished apartment tour in my vlog channel, which I'm just gonna bring the vlog videos over here because I really don't vlog that much. So this is just gonna be one central channel for everything about me. But I wanted to do one final tour and I didn't get to it. We just started packing. So I am drowning in a sea of boxes and tears, also tears. I'm actually really sad to be leaving this place. I'm excited for the new place, but we have so many memories here and the time just goes by so fast. And like moving from one place to another just makes you so aware of your existence. Like, wow, I'm getting older. But anyway, I will show you the situation, okay? We used to have a beautiful view. I mean, we still have a beautiful view, but they built that building there. So that's one of the downfalls of living in downtown. This is the closet, hold on, full of boxes. I mean, we still have to pack up the last few things. Okay, <laughs> this is the living room full of boxes everywhere. Oh my gosh, you you know what? Like we have to move tomorrow. We got a moving company and like, I don't think I'm ready because there's shit everywhere. So tonight we really have to wrap everything up and put all the missing things in boxes. Our plant babies are back here. Ah. I promise we're gonna get to the new place now. They had just finished painting literally today. So I have no idea what state it's in. Johnny is there now. So we're gonna go see it together. I hope you love it. <laughs> this neighborhood is just so pretty. <gasps> so many trees and the buildings. Oh my God, this is like my dream neighborhood to live in. I love it so much. We're here, ah, well, almost. For the past two years, we lived in, as many of you guys saw, kind of a very modern apartment in a high rise, beautiful city views. And I feel like I just got tired of that modern, sterile look. So it's funny, because when I was looking for this apartment, a lot of people thought I would get something super modern, because that's always been my jam. But you are in for a surprise. It is not, I mean, it's very nice and updated, but I really wanted something that felt like home. Felt like homey. I wanted something that felt like a house. I didn't want something that just felt like a, an apartment or a condo, but I didn't want the responsibility of owning like an actual house, at least not yet, because it's a lot. <laughs> I think we found the perfect middle ground. It is a small art deco, old building, very few units in the building. And when you walk in, the place just feels like a little home. So enough talking about it. Let me just show you what it looks like. <laughs> so here we've got the stairs. Shoes off like always, right babe? <laughs> Duh, and here we go. Beautiful floor, so we just put in. And here is the living area. So it's really dark right now because it's a super gloomy day and also it's like 7 p.m. So imagine when it's all bright and sunny. These are the floors that we put in. These are brand new. Oh, wait, where's the sofa going there? The sofa's going against that wall. You guys see all these little tiles? How they're all together? They're not tiles. I mean, <laughs> you guys see all these little planks? How they're all together? They're not supposed to be like that. It doesn't sound that like dramatic, but the, the box came varying sizes, little ones. Like look how little long ones, this plank is. Ones. But I don't want to focus on the negative. So here we're gonna have some beautiful curtains, and actually something I love is the windows. Kind of reminds me of a French like cottage, country house. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'll put in pictures of before and afters of what this used to look like. 
I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh my god, but I love the floor the way it was before. Listen, I'm tired of shiny floors, okay? We've had shiny floors for like two years already. I wanted wood, I wanted to feel cozy and homey. Okay, so here in this little closet slash pantry, it's actually a good amount of storage. But instead of having it like this, we want to build shelves on each side. So you can actually walk in here. You've got shelves on one side, shelves on the other side. But that's a project like for later. So then continuing from the living room, which is here, we continue on to the dining room. And another thing I love is actually all like the details going around the ceiling. And also like, this is like an original kind of molding detail. This building is super old, like all these buildings are from like 20s 30s 40s 50s so here we have got a washer dryer so you can actually see we left some of the old floor here the tile and this is the old paint that was here before it's kind of like a blue we have like a, a beige actually here in the siding it looks almost the same but it's not so my favorite part right here is the kitchen i am obsessed with this kitchen it is so beautiful and unique so here is gonna be the dining table we're gonna get a round one and we're gonna get a different chandelier this had like kind of a chandelier i didn't like before i don't know what i'm gonna do here yet but here is our bar oh my gosh i cannot wait to fill it up i was going crazy trying to find a bar cabinet and thank god i didn't splurge on one in the old apartment because look at this i love it there's like so much space and the countertops the marble is also really beautiful like this combination is so nice let me see okay i turn this side off so it looks a little bit softer we've got ton of storage space i mean look at that it's pretty nice and we have a built-in wine fridge how freaking awesome is that we already filled it up with wine <laughs> this kitchen looks super like well made high quality this i don't know i just love everything i love that the marble runs up the wall so it's kind of like a connected backsplash oh my god i just love the kitchen so so much and this bookshelf here we already are gonna like have so many ideas to fill it up with little trinkets and books and plants the plant daddy is here he's gonna fill the whole place with plants <laughs> go stand in the kitchen so who's gonna do most of the cooking me or you obviously not you <laughs> okay i always do the cooking okay. you only make chicken schnitzel so in this area, we're probably gonna put a big mirror, cover that vent, and I don't know yet what we're gonna do here, but during Christmas, that's where the Christmas tree is going. Ah, exciting stuff. Okay, moving on. So here, we have got the office. Oops, I can look in here. So it's gonna be the office slash filming space for the workouts, for the app, for everything. So we wanted to make this room really white and bright. So we still have to decide what we're gonna film, but we can do it here, we can do it here. We're gonna put some really nice like linen curtains, plants. Like, this is gonna look very zen, very beautiful. And it's big enough to have our desks on one side and filming on another side. And then we've got a big closet in here. Probably just gonna use it for storage of all of our work stuff. So the filming lights, camera gear. We were actually even thinking, what if we put our bed in here, right? Oh, do we yeah. fit? We could put our bed in here, sleep in here, and then make like, our bedroom, the closet, but um, no, we're not gonna live like hobbits, right? <laughs> In the office, we have the guest bath, which we are gonna remodel both bathrooms eventually. So this is the guest bathroom and it's full of stuff. But you can kind of see what it looks like. We have to put all the stuff somewhere. Finally, we have got the bedroom, which is this way, this way, and this way. This bedroom is humongous. <laughs> so we really wanted to make this the office space, but it's too dark in here. So we have to do it in the other one. But this is so big and the ceiling, it has such a beautiful detail if you look up. I don't know if that's original or not, but it's super duper cool. It's like a little accent ceiling. So our bed will probably actually go here under this window. And then here, I'm probably gonna do like a little selfie station, you know? So put a nice mirror for all my mirror selfies, the dresser, like maybe even a little reading nook. So this area is gonna look very, very nice. And then we have got the master bath, which doesn't have a door right now. We have to get a door. And this is also gonna be, oh, it's also gonna be remodeled. For sure the floor and the tiles and maybe a new vanity. I actually do like this countertop. I do. But none of these drawers open. And like, I don't like the color, so we would have to repaint it and change all the handles. So I'm thinking of just getting a new one. And we have to change this anyway. So like, is it worth it to do all that? But yeah. I don't know what else to say. So
So that is pretty much it for our unfurnished apartment tour. I'm sorry about all the cleaning supplies there. So just imagine beautiful plants and books and sculptures. But I hope you liked this little apartment tour and I can't wait to show you once it's all furnished. We are so excited to finally own a place. And as soon as I walked in here, it just felt like home. We literally only saw like three apartments before seeing this one and being like, we think this is the one. And it's crazy because from the pictures and everything, it was kind of like our, the one we were least excited about. Like we didn't think we'd be so excited about it. The only thing that sucks about it that we really wanted was we wanted like a terrace or an outdoor space. But girl, have you seen the prices of Miami? Okay. It wasn't possible. We're just really happy with how it is inside and we want to spend most of our time out there anyway. Running to the beach because it's like super close. Going to cafes, just exploring the neighborhood. So hopefully that'll get us out of the house more and exploring more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. Definitely let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comment section. And I look forward to updating you guys more. I'll be also giving updates over on Instagram on Vicky Justice, on my story. That's where I update you guys about my life. There's the man, the legend. <laughs> In not <laughs> but um yeah i hope you like the video and i will see you guys next time